Watching the news can be scary and keeping your family protected is very essential. And with this coronavirus going around, we don't want to leave anything for chance. Our families are too important and too precious not to take those extra steps to disinfect and make our homes a more healthy place. So stay tuned for um, some tips that I'd like to share to help you make your home a little bit more safe and free from um, the coronavirus or any other virus for that matter. Stay tuned. Um, hey, I'm just jumping on here. Um, I'm talking about the coronavirus and um, it's actually a severe acute respiratory syndrome. And see, some of the symptoms are initial flu-like symptoms such as fever, coughing, breathing difficulties, fatigue, myalgia. And it has an incubation period of 1 to 14 days. Um, it says that the, the transmission is human to human transmission via respiratory droplets. So it does seem like this virus is now airborne. So it could be pretty easy to... Um, have a transference of the virus so what you want to do is you want to avoid close contact with individuals who are sick of course frequent hand washing with soap and water and not touching your eyes nose or mouth with unwashed hands of course that that's just good hygiene um, and practicing good respiratory hygiene that's also another one that you know we, we frequently do if if you're coughing or you're sneezing of course you wanna avoid people or avoid the grocery stores things like that so um, I just wanted to give you a few of the symptoms and talk a little bit about this um, like I said I had a few clients who I uh, had a few concerns and um, I wanted to put their minds at ease and I figured that um, my YouTube family would have the same concerns so of course I want to share what information that I can share uh, being a cleaning professional um, as much as I can so I hope these help and please keep in mind that the information can change on a daily basis so I'm trying to give you the most updated information I have at this moment so I've had thank you clients clients ask me how they can protect their home more from the coronavirus or what they're calling COVID-19 and this virus has been around for a long time um, it just happens to be a new strain that they don't have a vaccine for. So I just wanted to jump on here and figured um, you may have the same concerns as some of my clients. So I just wanted to talk to you about it and how you can disinfect your home to um, help protect your family from the coronavirus. And there's some basic steps that you can do that will help um, protect your family. It's added protection uh, around your house. And some of the things you may already be doing, but if you're not, you can add these things in when you're doing your simple cleaning. It will take you less than 10 minutes to add this extra protection for your family from the coronavirus. And basically, these things are um, to use a disinfectant. You know, they have, um, I use Clorox Cleanup or another bleach cleaner. They also have the disinfecting wipes, which make it really easy. 
but just go around the house and you can start at the front door and at the front door uh, disinfect your doorknobs and your locks uh, whatever that you touch on a frequent basis make sure you do the inside and the outside uh, you can also go around the house and disinfect your doorknobs that's another area that's touched quite frequently and by disinfecting those you're actually stopping the spread of germs um, another thing you can do is to disinfect your light switches that's something that people don't normally think about but you're touching on a regular basis so by disinfecting your light switches that actually helps um, you also want to give attention to like your refrigerator handles stove handles other things um, that you're touching quite frequently cabinet handles are another one um, drawer pulls, um, faucet knobs, the cold and the hot water, um, those are touched quite frequently. A toilet pulls uh, to flush the toilet, those are touched. So those are all things that you can disinfect so that you can protect your family. Um, there are a few that you may not think about and that's disinfecting your remote controls how often do you do that you know those are things that you actually use on a very frequent basis so it just makes sense to disinfect those things um, you want to think about anything that you use on a regular basis anything that comes into contact and also good hand washing good hand washing is also very essential and teach your children how good hand washing um, will help protect them especially in school and in in other areas where there's a lot of people a lot of germs can be transferred so um, and also when you cough or when you sneeze make sure you're sneezing in your in the the gap of your elbow make sure you're sneezing or you're coughing in there um, because you know if you're wearing clothes those can be taken off and um, washed really easily of course if you need but to protect I your family on the go um, just make sure to have some disinfecting wipes in your car or um, have them available for your kids to take with them in a small you know they have those uh, travel um, diaper wipe packs that are really slim actually you could put some disinfectant wipes in the travel um, packs of diaper wipes so that they can actually carry with them to school that's actually a really good tip um, for them to carry some disinfectant wipes with them so if they've got to open their locker or if they've got to you know when they flush the toilet at school or use the the knobs at school or the drinking fountain or you know where have you it's just an added protection for your kids and our kids are so important to us there's not enough that we could do to keep them safe so really easily but I hope that with this virus currently there's 808 cases in the United States and that information may change um, but hopefully we can keep our families safe and help promote good hygiene so that you know that we can stop the spread of this disease it's we don't want it to get too bad in our part of the country um, like it has in China China has over eight eighty thousand cases so yeah of course we want to 
stop the spread as, as much as we can. But I hope these tips and tricks uh, will actually help you provide more or added protection for your family. And like always, thank you for watching. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I love to have you as my family. And thank you so much. Have a good evening.